The Defense Ministry of Iran is going to supply the army with 1,000 military drones soon, Tasnam News Agency reports. The Iranian Defense Ministry and the Army on Monday signed a strategic agreement on the promotion of drone power and the equipment carried by unmanned military aircraft. Under Phase 1 of the agreement, the Defense Ministry has undertaken to equip the Army with 1,000 drones of undisclosed types in a short time span. Defense Minister Brigadier General Amir Hatami told reporters, after signing the agreement, that Iran is ranked fifth or sixth in the world in terms of drone capabilities. In January 2021, the Iranian army staged a massive wargam using various indigenous drones for different operations including aerial interception, launch of air-to-air -air missiles, destruction of ground targets with bombs and missiles with pinpoint accuracy, and suicide strikes. Military officials say the army experts have dramatically increased the flight endurance of suicide UAVs, manufacturing drones with an operational range of 4,000 kilometers. Among the various types of UAVs developed by Iran, the Shad 129 is a single-engine medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle, Yukov, designed by Shad Aviation Industries for the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC. The Shad 129 is capable of combat and reconnaissance missions and has an endurance of 24 hours. It is similar in size, shape and role to the American MQ-1 Predator and is widely considered the most capable drone in Iranian service. The UAV has been used for airstrikes in the Syrian civil war and for border patrol on Iran's eastern border. Together with the Seget, the Shad 129 is expected to form the backbone of Iran's high-end UAV fleet for at least the next decade. The Sega 2, Thunderbolt, is a turbofan piston-powered flying wing unmanned combat aerial vehicle, Yukov, produced by Shot Aviation Industries. It is based on, but smaller than and substantially different from, a Lockheed Martin RQ-170 Sentinel UAV that was captured and reverse-engineered by Iran. It is one of two Iranian flying wing UAVs based on the RQ-170, along with the Shad 171 Simurgh. The Sega was revealed in October 2016. A number of sources have expressed doubt that the Sega is weapons capable and say it is solely an ISR platform. Iran planned to procure at least 50 by 2025. Among other models developed by Iran, let us just mention Mohajer 6, Kyan, Arash, Cayman 12, Karar, and Ababal 2. The Iranian drone threat has been around for many years. In 2019 the Islamic Republic used drones and cruise missiles to attack Saudi Arabia's massive Abqaiq energy facility. Iran transferred drone technology to the Houthi rebels in Yemen, to Hamas, the Shiite militias in Iraq, and also to Hezbollah. Iranian drones have entered Israeli airspace at least twice, in February 2018, when one flew from T-4 base in Syria to an area near Baitshan, and in May 2021, when a drone was launched from Iraq and flew over Syria also to an area near Baitshan. Israel shot these drones down. Iran used drones to attack a ship in the Gulf of Oman in July, killing two crew members. It has used them in Syria against ISIS and in Iraq to threaten U.S. forces. Iranian-backed militias in Iraq have attacked U.S. forces at facilities in Erbil several times this year. Iran also used drones to strike at U.S. forces in the Tanf garrison in Syria. Recent reports in U.S. media claimed that the attack was an Iranian attempt to respond to Israeli airstrikes by attacking the U.S. For Iran, America, and Israel are major adversaries. All of this is pointing in the same direction. Iran wants to use drones to target Israel, the US, Saudi Arabia and other countries. It is also increasingly relying on drones as its major weapon. This is a shift from focusing on ballistic missiles and precision-guided munitions. It is a shift in technology and can also be a shift in precision and lethality. Drones are different than missiles. They don't fly on an arc, and so that means they can be difficult to detect and kill. Drones are also different than cruise missiles because they can hover, monitor and return to base or loiter over a target.
In Gantz's speech on Tuesday, he singled out Shad Taipuas, which he said were being used to carry out maritime attacks, apparently from Keshma Island in southern Iran. Iran is also operating outside the region, transferring oil and weapons to Venezuela, operating its Quds forces in South America and trying to infiltrate its influence into Afghanistan. Iranian terrorism is exported under the directive of Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei and the regime's top leaders, he said. One of their key tools is UAVs, a precise weapon that can reach strategic targets within thousands of kilometers. As such, this capability is already endangering Sunni countries, international forces in the Middle East and countries in Europe and Africa.